Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and it's nice to be with you today. Today I'm making a block called the Old Italian Quilt Block, right here. And as I describe in the video, I just show you how to make the one with the white bars here. Initially I thought I would just use the white bars and I have a few photos in this video that show what it might look like. But then I thought, I wonder what it looks like with dark bars alternating, and this is what I came up with. So I'm having fun with my reproduction fabrics and making some blocks for this classic quilt. So let's get started. For our block today, I'm starting with a six inch square and I have all my different colored six inch squares ready to go. Then I need a two inch square for the center. We're going, it's going to be on point like that. And then the bars in the middle are two inches by five inches long. So I have four of my backgrounds and I'm doing even a scrappy background so I have some different color bars here that are all cream, white, or that general color. So I'm going to cut my square twice diagonally and I'll have four triangles. And then I'm going to take my two bars and put a square in the middle. So I'm going to sit down at the machine. I'll be sewing this together and then I'll add bars to two of my triangles. I will be trimming my block to seven inches. It's a tiny bit bigger than seven inches. And I'm looking for the three and a half mark on my um, ruler here. And I'm going to center the three and a half inch mark right there, right in the middle of that square. And looking at the diagonal line, I have a diagonal line through my ruler, which really helps center this little block. See if I can fit in here my ruler between all this camera equipment and everything. So there I go. And now my block is ready. And I'll be making some more and putting them all together. Here
here are my blocks the, with all cream and white bars, which I think is really pretty. But like I said at the beginning, I did have a thought that maybe it, I might like it better with the darker bars alternating. So I did have to cut some strips for the dark bars and then I used a lighter background for those. And here's a sample of what it might look like if you alternated some. And there it is again. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.